The big secret that I guess we can let out, since this is going to be the DVD of Beaches, is that that is not my voice in the movie. Um, I sang at all my auditions, um, and apparently Bette had a, a very strong idea of what she wanted her voice to sound like when she was younger. So I sang along with the track and had to endure, you know, everybody on the crew coming up to me and saying, why isn't it your voice? You have a great voice. Um, but I have a very different kind of voice. I have a much less polished voice than the voice that they ended up with. And I actually felt like the voice sounded much older than my 12-year-old little body could convey. Um, but but I think it was something that Bette was very particular about and, you know, rightfully so. That's the story of, that's the glory of love. The part that, that Bette worked with me on was the singing and dancing number. Um, there's actually kind of an interesting story about that. Um, I had been dancing since I was four. You know, I was a ballet dancer and I did jazz and I learned to tap dance for the auditions, um, for the Beaches auditions. Uh, I had a great, great dance teacher. Her name's Patsy Metzger. And... Um, we got a little fake staircase, and she taught me how to tap down the stairs because that was in the script. And so, um, so I worked a lot on the dancing. And um, Bet, I guess, didn't want the character to be so dancey. She wanted to have more attitude in the dance rather than dance. So we had choreographed this whole thing, and I worked with the choreographer, and it was all this thing. And when Bet saw it, she she was kind of like, "Well, that's great, but that's not you know what we want CC to do." So she kind of re-choreographed it, which was exciting working with her so closely um, on the dance numbers. <laughs> I think Gary was the perfect kind of prototype for me um, to be working with someone who shared my accent, um, Gary being from the Bronx. So, um, you know, the accent that I grew up with, he had too, even more so, you know. <laughs> Okay, perfect, cut. Um, so I think it, it helped having someone who, who really, he fit well into my, my practicing because I had been used to practicing with my parents who had his accent, and then I kind of just shifted into working with someone who had that accent. So I think it helped me stay in that attitude. He did really well keeping us focused. Um, he was very funny. He was very open. He was very welcoming. He worked very well with us. Um, so it was a really positive, positive experience having him as a director. And in particular, the scene where um, I have my little hissy fit um, after I see that um, the other girl has auditioned when I was auditioning. Um, there's the scene with Lainey Kazan in the dressing room. And I remember he worked very hard with me on that. He really wanted to get it just perfect. I remember he really wanted me, you know, to, to try and find something from my life that made me upset and work with that because it was the, you know, upset scene. You 